I'm Jane Richardson, Global Artistry Director for NARS Cosmetics. I'm here with the lovely Adriana today and I'm very excited to share with you some of my tips and tricks on how to create the most beautiful, perfect, radiant complexion. Okay, first thing, it's really important to prepare the skin. So when I'm working backstage or doing a look for a shoot, I always make sure to take time on the complexion itself and the skin. It must be hydrated to help you create the best base for your foundation. I've already done that, so we'll skip to the next stage and get excited because I'm now going to introduce you to this. This is fast becoming one of my favorite things. This is the Super Radiant Booster. Check this out. You don't need a lot. You can actually apply it just to key points of the face, just like this. So what I love about this is how versatile it is. So for this look, I'm going to be using the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I place a little bit on my hand. I always use my hand first. And then what I would advise you to do is consider breaking your face down into sections. It makes it easier to blend. So this is a lot of times how we create those beautiful looks backstage, that uh, no makeup makeup, where the skin really does just look like skin. So you can see the spreadability of the actual foundation is incredible. It has been created this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I have the three shades just here, and then I mix depending on the skin and where I'm actually applying the concealer. And then what I'm gonna do is get the skin tone, use my finger, and come up into what I've used. I'm just coming up here. So this is how I sort of bring everything together. So once you've used your concealer, you need to set it. So I'm using loose powder. Obviously for this look in front of the camera, I'm just gonna lightly dust over a little bit of the translucent crystal powder. Always set underneath your eyes. So just look up for me. I use my fingers to get rid of any lines that have formed. I have the brush loaded, the same brush I applied the concealer with. I've put a little bit of the translucent crystal on and I'm working it in. So you get a light application and you set that area. So next, I'm gonna show you how to bronze. This is our biggest selling bronzing powder. This is Laguna, iconic. I'm gonna show you how to apply it with a powder brush because I think that gives you a much softer finish. So you can see that when Adriana moves, there's this wonderful light that goes across the skin and this beautiful warmth from the Laguna. I'm just going to boost it with the Radiant Booster. So this is how you can create a very natural radiant complexion using the new Radiant Booster and the classic and iconic Radiant Creamy Concealer and the Natural Radiant Luminous Foundation. So I'm gonna show you how to do a very quick smoky eye um, using the Skin Deep Palette. I'm gonna start with a black base. This is Menorque Coal Liner and I'm just pushing it in to the lash line. Now at this point, I don't want you to be too perfect. Just push it into the lash line. And then what we're going to do is just blend out with our fingers. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same underneath. And then simply, come. What I'm gonna do next is pick up the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto, a gorgeous black. This is longer wearing, which is why I use it in the inner rim of the eye. So I'm gonna be using the Skin Deep Palette. It's a wonderful mix of various different textures. I'm gonna create a kind of bronzed effect on the lid. So I'm gonna use a little brush here and just push it in over the top of the coal. It might seem like it's taking a little bit longer, but because it will be cleaner underneath your eye, you'll be out the door before you know it. So what I'm gonna do now is just use a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna use the Climax Mascara now, which is a great mascara for giving you intense lashes. It's a buildable mascara, so you can use it to whatever level you prefer. Really make sure to use your wand. So I'm just gonna finish off the eye area by doing the brows. And I'm gonna first use a brow perfector. I'm gonna show 
you how to create a very dewy complexion using the Sheer Glow. And my first tip is to really play with highlighters to illuminate the face. This is Copacabana, the multiple stick. And we use it a lot backstage and I love using it on shoots as well. I'm going to show you how to use the liquid orgasm. So I've just placed a pump of liquid onto my hand. You only need a small amount. Look and feel your bone structure and then apply your product. Next is the Sheer Glow. You need to make sure that you give it a really good shake. It has a complexion brightening formula contained within it and you need to just shake it so it, can, it literally goes around all the pigments. Done again, a little bit goes a long way with the NARS products and remember that Francois NARS uses his fingers and has always used his fingers. So he has created all the formulas to be essentially at their best when applied with the warmth of your fingers. So the next step is to use concealer. Uh, everyone does it a little bit differently, but my preference is to choose three shades. One which matches the skin tone, one which is slightly lighter, and one which is slightly darker. And this is a very versatile concealer. You can use it to highlight, to contour, as well as conceal. So I'm going to set with loose powder. I'm using the translucent crystal, which comes in loose or pressed, so it's down to your preference. I'm actually going to apply it um, for speed with a brush. I'm going to show you how to use our iconic orgasm blush. Work out where you want to apply it and play around with your blusher because it doesn't always have to be a smile along the tops of your cheeks. Maybe you want it a little bit lower. Maybe you want it to literally go around the eye. Play with your makeup. It creates a different character. So I'm going to finish off this look by applying Climax Mascara. I would urge you to always consider how you use your mascara to create a slightly different feel to your makeup. So to complete the look, I've got to do some lips. I'm going to use the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is Dolce Vita. It's one of the most classic, iconic NARS colours available in various different formulas. And then I'm going to finish off with the Velvet Lip Glide. Oh, 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 oh,